Hey gang, and welcome to the Serenos Place channel. I'm Coach Cass, and today you're going to see about this contraption that my student Aiden has constructed towards the journey of earning his Eagle Scout Award. Now, the problem we have at Rocky River High School, which Aiden asked me about, was to help more of our fencers training, despite the fact that we've got three squads, one coach, a lot of fencers, and only two electric strips. So how could we keep things going? So in conjunction, we came up with this idea of this fencing trainer. Now I'm gonna get my foil and then my epi and then my saber, and I'm gonna show you ways to use this so that you can either take our design, modify our design to your own needs, and have something like this in your own club, in your own house, etc., and continue to train like a champion without a champion's resources, but with the heart of a champion, like people who've earned their Eagle Scouts and equivalent in Girl Scouting. So let me go get my foil. So I got my foil, and who doesn't like hitting a ball? So one of the beauty things is we've got a ball hit. It's adjustable. We can adjust it by swinging it over, make it deeper, make it shorter, length, depending on how tall your fencer is. In addition, you can rock it and work disengages. You can do beat attacks on this. You can beat, disengage, whatever you want. I've also found I can turn it around, use it on targets. We've had camp to kind of test drive these and my kids loved it. So let me show you some footage of different ways my kids have used this in foil. You know how at the beginning of camp you're always talking to a parent or someone? Well, I turn around and this was the scene I'd see of all the kids who gotten their foils out, or in this case, a few epis, just to practice. I figured if my campers were having so much fun, I'd let my teen adult class have the same opportunity. I found good training to start out with a simple extension, move to an advanced with extension, then lunge, and even advanced lunge. Another added benefit I found was if you've got enough structures made, it's easy to keep people six plus feet away as they do their personal training. So I'm warming up for a lesson and I'm really enjoying using this new tool because it helps me focus on my aim and my timing. When the target is moving, then I have to slow down, extend, focus on technique, and it's a really good self-check for me. If you raise the ball just high enough, it's easy to practice your disengages. Once you've got the disengage going well, warmed up your fingers, you can do it with the ball moving and disengage it as it swings back and forth. If we take our training structure and put it backwards so the ball is between the fencer and a target, you can do the skill with a lunge or an extension and hit an actual target. In addition to training our disengages, we can also train our beat attacks. Again, by having the structure placed in front of the target allows the athlete to finish their attack after practicing their skill. To our fencers, this allows the instructor to be able to break down the action and let them do it without necessarily being too close. All right, guys, halt! What do you think of these? They're great. What do we say to Aiden? basics hit the ball for epic we have a ball for toe touches you can hang a ball in the middle for thigh touches I don't have a lot of epis so I'm afraid I don't have that much I can show you with our club for our epic fencers but feel free to get creative now with saber I've got a jacket on a hanger hung from the bar there's also a little bracket that I can slide a saber mask in so I can have it now our top bar here is about five foot six ish. So my mask, the top of my mask is about five nine, so it's about the height of an average adult male ish. And I can do head cuts, bum bum bum, leg drills, I can do chest cuts. If I want to pad this out, you know, I can easily pad it out. There are a lot of um, videos out there in terms of stuffing your jacket and making a great target. If you want to do that with Epe, you can do that too. But this is the kind of basic design for Saber. Now, 
not like fencing a real person, but it still gets good practice, I think. It's like the layout of everything. So one of the problems I have over at Rocky River is we don't have a lot of storage. So we need whatever we're going to have to be compact and so I have enough space. And when you take these half inch PVC and wrap it up with that little wraps here, it can be stored easily. Because we've got four pieces. We've got the top piece, which we're hitting. You can see here we've got a bracket so I can hold a saber mask and the ball. This is an adjustable string. We can hit it in any of three places. This is going to sit on the frame. From the frame, you've got the legs that will help support it in a nice triangle shape. And this is how we get our complete fencing training unit. I've got to say thank you to Aiden for having made this on behalf of the Grahi River High School program. We invite you to make one for yourself, modify it as you feel fit, make it three weapon or singular weapon, use it at your club, use it in your living room, as you need, as you feel fit, because our goal is to help you train like a champion, even if you don't have a champion's resources, but we know you have a heart of a champion. If you would like a copy of the schematics for what Aiden has specifically constructed, feel free to email us at info at cyranosplace.info. Again, info, I-N-F-O, at cyranosplace, C-Y-R-A-N-O-S-P-L-A-C-E dot info, and we will get you the schematics once they're ready to be emailed out. So, if you've got some comments for Aiden, we'd be delighted to see them here, or feel free to email us at info at cyranosplace.info, and I will forward it to my student. So subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you on Strip in due time. Be well.